So I really wish that electronic drums would just come with all the things. But unfortunately, a lot of first time electronic drum buyers are surprised to learn that they have to go buy all this extra stuff in order to just play the drum set in the first place. People actually buy electronic drums, get them home, and then they're somehow surprised to learn that they have nothing to sit on, they have no way to hear the drum set, they don't have certain pieces of hardware to hold up pads that aren't attached to the drum rack, and they don't have any drumsticks, so they can't even play the drum set in the first place. And if you already spent $3,000 on your kit and you bought every accessory under the sun, this video will not be a revelation to you. But this is for the people who are buying their first electronic drum set and what to expect. Okay, so at number six, let's start off with something really cheap and easy to buy. That is a kick drum patch. These are gonna run anywhere from like five to $15, depending on how fancy of a kick drum patch that you buy. This is only gonna to apply to people that have mesh kick drums. If you have a rubber kick drum pad, don't worry, your kick drum pad is pretty much invincible. But if you do have a mesh kick drum, and if you have a felt kick drum beater, or if you have a flat circular kick drum beater, you really need to go buy one of these. If you have a felt kick drum beater, that thing will slowly eat away at the mesh. There's actually gonna be friction there, and it always eats through the mesh kick drum head. Now, as far as the other one, if you have a circular flat kick drum beater, I had an Iron Cobra kick drum beater. One day, it like got loose and slowly went sideways and just you know attacked its way through my kick drum head. Even if you don't have one of those kick drum beaters, it will just make your kick drum last that much longer. Okay, so moving on to number five, and thankfully this one is also very cheap, you're gonna need to buy an aux cable. There's very, very few drum sets that have Bluetooth connectivity yet. I know in like, you know, three years, that's gonna be on every single drum module from all the companies. But as of right now, only like the TD-17, I know there's a Simmons drum set that has Bluetooth. Other than that, I can't really think of many drum sets that have Bluetooth connectivity yet. Now you need to take a look at the back of your drum module before you buy one of these, because different drum modules have different sized input connections. So if you take a look at the mix input, also known as the aux input, different brands label it different things. Some of the cheaper drum sets, they'll have an eighth inch input. So you just go to Walmart and buy one of these regular cables. I'll also link one in the description. But if you have one of the more higher end drum modules, they mostly have quarter inch inputs. So you're gonna wanna buy a little adapter, you know, quarter inch to eighth inch, and you'll be good to go. If you look on Amazon, you can actually find cables that go from quarter inch to eighth inch, and you won't need to buy an adapter in the first place. Okay, so now let's move ahead to more expensive stuff. Number four is a drum throne. Yes, of course, you could use an office chair. You could use a, you know, a, a chair from your kitchen table or something, but none of that is gonna be as comfortable as a nice drum throne. There's a wide range of them out there. I've used a bunch and you've probably used a bunch as well if you've been drumming for a while, but you kind of get what you pay for. I went the cheap route once and bought like a $50 drum throne and eventually the seat literally cracked in half. If you're on a really tight budget, you could buy one of the circular drum thrones that are like 30 bucks. Those aren't very comfortable though. So there's gonna be a trade off how much money you wanna spend and how comfortable you're gonna to wanna to be. The one that I personally use is a rock and sock drum throne. I think that one is freaking fantastic. I'm actually sitting on it right now. Really, really comfortable. I bought it when I was a teenager and it's still working to this day. Really recommend it, but everyone has their own opinion. Some people like pork pie percussion drum thrones. Other people like a head drum thrones. You find what best suits you. Okay, so moving on to number three, and this surprises a lot of people apparently, your drum set probably doesn't come with a kick drum pedal. Now, I gotta clarify this. There are some drum sets from some companies at some price tiers that do include the kick drum pedal, but it varies from brand to brand, and sometimes a company will include the kick drum pedal on the cheaper drum sets, but if you spend a thousand bucks, they might just not include it on that drum set. Look down in the table of contents of the website page that you're looking at buying from. They'll always list out every single piece that comes with the drum set, make sure that you know whether or not it comes with a kick drum pedal so you can go buy one. If you're looking for a list of kick drum pedal recommendations, I've linked some down in the description below. Of course, go try to play a bunch at a music store and see which one you like the most. But really, you can buy a decent one for 100 bucks or less. If you buy one from like Pearl or something, those are always rock solid. Okay, so moving on to number two, this one applies more to like the drum sets around the 1,500 and up territory. If you buy one of these drum sets that have a hi-hat on the stand, you don't actually get the stand 99% of the time. Again, this kind of depends on what company you're buying from. Some companies include it, some don't. So go check out the website and really look through all the fine prints. But a lot of times, especially if you buy from Roland, if you buy one of the TD25 drum sets, if you buy like the TD17 KVX drum sets, if you buy the TD50 drum sets, they don't come with the hi-hat stand. They sell them separately because they want you to go buy them separately, but they don't come with the drum set. Make sure you know whether or not your drum set you're looking at has the hi-hat stand. A lot of times it just doesn't. I should probably also mention that if you see the snare on a snare stand in the photos, make sure the snare stand actually comes included with the drum set. 
I'm not gonna make a separate point about this though, because a lot of times they do come with a snare stand, like on the Simmons SD1200, it comes with a stand. On the Elise's Crimson, it comes with a stand, I believe. The Roland ones, they don't come with a stand because they're Roland. And then finally, moving ahead to number one, if you're buying an electronic drum set for the first time, you need to buy some nice studio headphones, a nice drum amp, or a nice pair of in-ears to actually hear this kit. Now this might sound obvious, but if you're like an acoustic drummer that's been playing drums for 20 years, you've never needed a drum amp, you've never needed headphones to hear the kit, it just might not come to the top of your mind while you're buying this drum set. A couple of things that I keep seeing people post about, no, you really shouldn't use a guitar amp, because guitar amps are made for the frequency range of a guitar and not a drum set. So you need to buy either a keyboard amp, a drum amp, a PA system or something like that that can handle the full frequency range of a drum set. Another thing to mention is that studio headphones are cheaper and sound better than consumer grade headphones. So you can buy a $50 pair of headphones that will sound better than some Beats headphones that cost 150 bucks. I really like Sennheiser and a few other brands, go check them out there. For me personally, if I'm not reviewing a drum amp system and I'm practicing by myself, I'll usually just use headphones because they're comfortable, I like the way they sound, and they make the whole house a little bit quieter. Whenever I'm filming a video for like a drum cover or if I'm reviewing a product, I will actually use in-ears. So I use these from KZ, they're like 50 bucks and they sound freaking incredible. They have a lot of drivers inside of them and I bought some ear tips that don't uh, fall out of my ears. So this is the combination that I use live and whenever I'm just filming myself. For me personally, I think that in-ears look more professional whenever you're shooting video or if you're live on stage. If you take a look at any famous band, they're not wearing giant headphones for the most part. They're usually using an in-ear system that then goes to a little pack that's on their belt. Okay, so now that we've gone over the list of stuff that you need to buy, and it should go without saying that you also need drumsticks. Not every kit actually comes with drumsticks. You'll need to buy some of those. I should probably give you some ideas on how to save money on some of the stuff that you'll need to buy. The first, and I'm always trumpeting this, try to buy used hardware. If you have to buy a used snare stand, you can buy a used snare stand for like 50 bucks at a music go around on Craigslist. Like there's a lot of deals out there. You know, Facebook Marketplace is a great place to buy used stuff as well. Another idea is to buy a bundle. Craftmusic.com is very famous for this. There's also lots of other websites. They can't lower their price any lower than what the manufacturer lets them sell the drum set for. So to try to differentiate themselves from other companies like Amazon or Sweetwater or whatever, some companies such as Craft Music will give you an extra kick drum pedal or they'll bundle in the drum throne. They'll give you extra stuff to try to get you to buy the drum set from them instead of from the competition. So you can get some of the stuff for free and not even actually have to spend any more money if you were gonna buy the drum set new. So those are some ideas to actually not have to spend much money on all the stuff that you'll need to buy extra. I know none of this stuff was rocket science, it's just basic stuff, but some people are surprised to learn this, so I thought I'd probably make a beginner style video for people getting their first ever electronic drum set. By the way, if there's anything that I missed, leave those down in the comments below. I'm really interested to read your thoughts on this. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you all in a few.